Hey guys, what's going on? It's Boom Michael back again with a brand new video for you guys. And today I have a huge gameplay to bring you guys. It's actually a 90 plus kill gameplay. So it's 91 kills to 21 deaths. It's a really good gameplay. It's one of my best gameplays ever. It's my most kills ever. Um, I got it uh, actually a day before I posted my 80 plus kills the other day. So yeah, make sure to smack this like button before I start the video. Subscribe if you are new. We're, we've been getting subscribers like crazy. I've been like. <laughs> be treating those shoutout things on Twitter like you're getting a bunch of subscribers because of because of those shoutouts and um yeah I've been getting lots of people like subscribing to me which is awesome growing my fan base so yeah let's get right into the video so basically in this gameplay we were playing on Nuketown Nuketown is like the best place like the best map to get like these high kill gameplays I was so close to 100 kills I was only nine kills off it was like oh my god. But seriously, like, the, one of the reasons that I couldn't, like, get that is because my teammates kept on getting, like, okay, so basically, in, in the first round, the se in, like, half of the second round, it wasn't as bad. Like, they didn't really triple cap, right? But in the, in the second half of the second round, I could have easily got the last, nine sec the last like, nine kills I needed for the 100 plus. But no, because my teammates, ha they had to go triple cap, and then, like, they didn't give me enough time to, like, go get my 100 plus. So, like... Bro, if you, if you see that you have a teammate that's going off, don't triple cap. Let the let the other team like get up, like get the flags, then you can start. So your teammate can start getting like these huge gameplays because I I already got like my first 100 plus. Okay, so just think about that. Okay, I would have got my first 100 plus, and my teammates didn't do that. Also, I would have got my 100 plus, and like seriously, in this game, I keep on dying off like one off my wrath or my raps. Like I keep on dying one off it exactly. Like oh my gosh. Uh, this this might have been 130 kills for all I know. Like I I don't know how many kills this this would have been. Like but if, if I kept getting my raps and my wraith, I don't know what would happen. Okay, so the game might have turned out differently. The, like, if I got my wrath and my ra uh, ra raps, what am I talking about? If I got my raps and my wraith a lot, the t the enemies like my like kept like uh, rage quitting, and so I couldn't have got it. So I don't know. It might have been good or it might have been bad that I couldn't I couldn't get those. I'm saying that I might think that it's bad because I could have got the 100 plus. I'm just telling you, like, if my if my teammates didn't triple cap and if they didn't get like and if I didn't die one off those high score streaks, then bro, I would have got this 100 plus. But anyway, in this gameplay, I was using the gravity spike specials just to like use it, try it out, and um, yeah, it's just sometimes you'll see me use it to my advantage. Let's say if I don't have ammo or, or I know this is gonna be behind the corner, I just like use it, pop it. Boom, and they're dead, and uh, it's a pretty cool thing. One time, one time in this gameplay, I'm pretty sure I like almost got like a big feed, but then like my teammates went and killed them all before I got the feed, so I only ended up getting one kill with the gravity spikes, which was like pretty crazy. Um, the setup. Okay, let's get right into my setup for this gameplay. Also, um, I know I say this the setups lots, but I'd like to sh tell you guys what I use in this game on my gameplays. So I'll just like run over it. It's, it's my v Vesper best class setup is what I was using. So I'll just run over it really quickly. So I use the Vesper SMG, a really good SMG. Uh, nonetheless, it's the best SMG in the game in my opinion. It might have just got nerfed, like uh, uh, like the recoil just got nerfed on the PS4. It's gonna be coming to Xbox One, but apparently it's not that, as bad. So yeah. So in my the, for the attachments, I put the grip, the um, what's it called, the grip, extended mags, and fast mags. This just makes it so I can be as accurate as possible, and I can shoot for as long as I want, and I can like rush. Happy, I can just be rush happy. Seriously, I can just like run, shoot, reload like, really fast. I can just like be it fast. Like, with my like, I have a pretty decent reaction time, so I can like this is a really good thing like for rush like happy classes. Then for my perks, I put perk on six cents. So, as you guys know, I just like to like you know on the mini map, if there's enemy around you. Then for perk two, I put fast hands so then I could aim down sights faster after sw sprinting, and so I can like I'm not that sluggish, so I can like switch weapons faster, like throw equipment faster, do all that fun stuff faster. Then for perk 3, I put 2, I put a uh, blast suppressor and awareness, which is two awesome perks. Blast suppressor just makes it so the enemies can't see you, you're ping on the minimap when you're jumping around. And awareness obviously, obviously makes it so you can hear your enemy, which has helped me tons in this gameplay. Awareness and six sense and like seriously, all my perks. Like these perks is like my, my best preference. Like you guys should go use these perks. It's like my favorite setup and I use it in mostly all my classes. Just like go use these perks and um, you won't be disappointed. So yeah, um, next up we're gonna talk about my the bad. Okay, so you see on the other teams there's so many bad players. I don't know, I don't know how like you need to get ha bad players when you like want to go for high like gameplays. Okay, like you have to get bad players, but also your teammates also have to be bad. Okay, 
Because, let's say, think about it. If your teammates are good, they're going to be stealing all, all the kills. So it's really hard to get the, these kinds of lo lobbies when your teammates are bad players and your enemies are bad players. And then you're just there, like, trying to wreck everyone. So, yeah, that's that's one of my tips. You just got to to get one of these, like, high gameplays. You got to get in the lobby with everyone bad player except you. So then you'll just, like, wreck, okay? Um, I, I actually think it might have been, like, better if I was in a party. I don't know why. Like, maybe I would have stayed alive longer. Maybe if I had some support, like, party members, like, running, like, the... Hater UAV encounter UAV maybe that would have helped me out because the hater would have helped me out tremendously. Um, yeah, so like it, that's also one thing. If you're going for these high kill gameplays, make sure that you run, you run like those like the the assault so, was it, the assault score streaks. If you want to have some teammates that you know or just ask the people in the lobby, ask them to run the hater counter UAV and UAV, or they can run the guardian like stuff like that. Just like non like assault uh, kill streaks, so then like they can help you out too. It's a really huge thing when your teammates help you out, and um, yeah, when you when you get support, it just makes the game a little bit easier. This gameplay was 100% solo, and um, yeah, just playing with a bunch of randoms. But I'm just saying, if you got if you guys got a bunch of friends that you play with, or if you just like talk to people in the lobby, tell them to run the su support stuff for you if you're trying to get these like huge gameplays. And um, yeah, that's that's a really big tip I have for you guys. Oh gosh, I try. I kept on trying to spawn trap like when they had the one flag. Like that's a really huge thing. Like so, let's say if the enemies had one flag, we this is what you have to do, okay? Especially on Nuke Town, where it's like it's really easy to spawn trap. This is what you have to do, guys. You just basically have to like have the first two flags. So let's say you have A and B, then um like the enemy has C, right? So just like stand right in front of the like the the truck or something. Like I don't know, like stay there, or you can push inside the house. Just like go in and out, and then you'll you'll see there's a bunch of enemies just keep spawning. Just go around. Just like you should just like walk around. Like like one thing I kept on saying is kept on keep on moving during the whole game. That's why that's what I said. That's what I was doing during the whole game. Like I just kept on moving. It, like if if I kept on if I wasn't moving, then I wouldn't be able to like, get this gameplay. Make sure if you want to get this gameplay that like a game, gameplay like this. So make sure to just, like keep moving during the whole game. Uh, that's a huge thing because if you're standing around camping, then think of it. How are you gonna get lots of kills? Like, do you think the enemies are gonna come to you? No, they aren't. And that doesn't even take skill. If you're just gonna stand in a corner and camp, like, it's not even fun or anything. Like, it's. I don't even know why people, why people do that. But, um, yeah. The, oh my gosh, that was that was an awesome game. I really loved it. And, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you are new. And I'll just put a couple. I'll just put some music in the background. There's like, I don't know, maybe four. Or, three minutes left in this gameplay so i hope you guys know this awesome gameplay uh like the video if you liked it please subscribe if you are new and i'm out guys peace